A disabled woman targeted in a frightening home invasion. Oh my God, something's wrong. What the invaders used to get into her Bonner County home. And how they used her own wheelchair against her. And good Wednesday evening, I'm Dave Erickson. And I'm Robin Nance. The Bonner County Sheriff's Office says that bizarre home invasion left a 59-year-old woman bound to her wheelchair with duct tape. It happened in the early morning hours at a home on Cedar View Estate Road in Blanchard. KXY 4's Tanya Dahl live in Coeur d'Alene tonight. Tanya, investigators are trying to determine if a rash of burglaries are connected in this area. Yes, that's right, Dave. The Bonner County Sheriff's Office says three to four homes in the same area have been burglarized within the past six months. And this latest victim is speaking out because she wants to warn others, but she did ask us to hide her identity. I went, oh my God, something's wrong. They came with very little warning in the early morning hours when Cindy was fast asleep on her couch, gaining entry most likely through her doggy door. I looked like this over by my chair <coughs> and I saw two <coughs> sets of white tennis shoes. And I thought, that's not my dog, that's not mouse. Not knowing whether her assailants were armed, the 59-year-old was shocked into silence. They didn't say anything, I didn't say anything. Because I was so scared. Two people she didn't get a clear look at forced Cindy into her wheelchair, duct taping her to it. The intruders took off her glasses and used her hair to cover her face. One person held the back of my wheelchair up against the TV, and the other person did whatever had to be done. What they did was steal two phones, 20 bucks, a life alert system, and prescription drugs. Cindy takes hydrocodone to help ease the pain from MS and a broken hip. It was almost as if it was planned. Once her home was ransacked, the robbers untaped their victim and then took off, leaving footprints and tire marks behind. That's a common occurrence nowadays. Uh, burglaries, uh, we got people doing burglaries just to take prescription drugs. Cindy hoped for a better new year. In late November, her home was burglarized, cash, jewelry, and her purse taken in the heist. She won't rest easy until the people responsible are caught. Don't know that I will ever sleep again. And a canine unit was able to track the intruder sent to a main road nearby, but investigators believe a getaway car was standing nearby and that car took off. If you have any information, you're asked to call the Bonner County Sheriff's Office. Reporting live, Tanya Dahl, KXLY4, HD News.